A mysterious story of ancient humans is melting out of the ice. This type of artifact, this is going to be more than a thousand years old. Melting ice in the Yukon has revealed something no one was prepared for. Four 300-year-old hunting tools have been discovered, looking almost as if they were made yesterday. One of these artifacts, however, featured a puzzling chemical signature that researchers could not immediately identify. Using artificial intelligence to analyze the mystery, they found evidence that points to a complex layer of ritual or belief, suggesting that survival was not the only purpose these tools served. This discovery challenges our current understanding of the ancient world. In the mid-1990s, biologists in the high mountains of southern Yukon noticed dark streaks appearing in the melting ice. At first, they thought it was just dirt, but a distinct smell revealed the truth. It was caribou dung that had been frozen for thousands of years. This discovery was the first sign that these ice patches were not empty landscapes, but frozen time capsules. Archaeologists quickly began studying the area and made an extraordinary find. Alongside the dunk, they discovered ancient hunting tools, like darts, sinew bindings, and even feathers. Typically, organic materials such as wood and sinew rot away, leaving only stone points behind. But here, the ice had acted like a natural freezer, preserving these items so perfectly that they looked as if they were lost recently, not thousands of years ago. One of the first major discoveries was a 4300-year-old dart shaft found near Kusawa Lake. Its excellent condition provided rare evidence of ancient technology that is seldom preserved. This important find led to yearly summer surveys, timed for the end of the melting season, when new artifacts would appear. To save these items from decay, small teams of archaeologists, biologists, and First Nation researchers were flown by helicopter to the remote sites for quick recovery. As the work progressed, a clearer history of local hunting technology emerged. Thousands of years, the primary tool was the atlatl dart, launched by a throwing stick. Then, around 1,200 years ago, the bow and arrow were introduced and became the main weapon. This shift is visible in the artifacts themselves, which range from long darts to smaller arrow shafts with antler or copper tips. The level of preservation also revealed fine details, like original sinew bindings, resin glue, and even identifiable feathers. The ice patches were not random spots, but natural gathering places for animals. During the summer, caribou and sheep came to the ice to cool down and escape biting insects. Over centuries, their dung accumulated in thick layers, creating a timeline that hunters understood well. They knew these were ideal ambush sites, and the tools they left behind tell the story of thousands of years of seasonal hunts. The dung also served as a preservative. At sites like Friday Creek, dung layers dating back over 7,000 years protected fallen darts and arrows by locking them in the ice. This is why when dung streaks were exposed by melting ice in the 1990s, artifacts were often found with them. For the First Nations people of the Yukon, these discoveries were much more than scientific data. Their oral histories, which told of abundant caribou in areas where none live today, were confirmed by the artifacts. The communities see these tools as a direct connection to their ancestors and as symbols of a living tradition. To honor this, indigenous researchers were always included in the fieldwork, grounding the project in both cultural memory and science. By the early 2000s, hundreds of artifacts had been found across dozens of ice patches, ranging from simple shaft fragments to complex and points. Each find was fragile and began to decay quickly once exposed, but together they created an unmatched record of life in the subarctic. These objects were more than just hunting tools. They revealed a way of life connected to ice, animals, and survival. As the summer melt continued each year, more of this ancient story emerged. In the Yukon, ancient caribou dung tells an important story. It's a biological archive that marks the exact locations where herds gathered centuries ago. When hunters pursued these animals, their tools would sometimes fall and get stuck in the accumulating layers of dung and ice. This process has preserved both the animal and human history of the area together in a single frozen record. At a well-known site called Friday Creek, researchers found thick layers of dung. Radiocarbon dating showed these layers were deposited over a vast period, from about 7,460 years ago to just a few hundred years ago. This proves that generations of caribou returned to the same spot every summer. For ancient hunters, this predictable pattern was essential, as it told them exactly where to set up an ambush. Preserved within the dung 
Researchers found a clear timeline of hunting tools. They discovered atlatl darts carved from spruce or birch in the older layers. In the newer layers, they found arrows, some with barbed antler points, and others edged with copper. This was not scattered debris, but a record of indigenous ingenuity over thousands of years. The dung itself was the reason for this incredible preservation. While ice alone can allow for decay, the dense mats of dung created a protective barrier. They absorbed moisture and sealed artifacts from erosion, which is why the melting dung streaks in the 1990s led directly to the discovery of these perfectly preserved tools. The artifacts were found in a highly unusual location on exposed mountain ridges, not in typical caves. They survived because they were locked in stationary ice patches that don't destroy objects like moving glaciers do. This exceptional preservation revealed incredible details of ancient craftsmanship, like traces of resin and sinew, showing a weapon complexity that archaeologists could never have imagined from stone points alone. By the early 2000s, the scale of the discovery was clear. With more than 200 artifacts and 1,700 animal remains recovered from over 40 sites, this growing record revealed a consistent pattern of life that included animals clustering on the ice and the seasonal hunt that followed. It was a rhythm of survival written into the land itself. For the region's First Nations, the dung layers in particular carried a powerful message. Their oral histories told of vast caribou herds in landscapes where none are seen today, and the evidence confirmed these memories. The dung was proof of that past abundance, while the tools were proof of their ancestors' successful adaptation, connecting people, animals, and ice in a single story. After years of summer surveys, the importance of the caribou dung was clear. What initially seemed like waste was actually the key to the entire discovery. Without the dung, the tools would have decayed, and the story of ancient alpine hunting would have been lost. Instead, these simple clues led to one of the most significant archaeological records in the subarctic. Researchers knew that deeper mysteries likely remained preserved in the ice, waiting to be found. The first complete atlatl darts recovered from the ice provided a rare look at a complete hunting system. For thousands of years, the atlatl, a lever used to throw darts with great force, was the dominant hunting tool in the Yukon's alpine zones. The archaeological record from the ice patches shows it was used for nearly 6,500 years. Then, around 1,200 years ago, a rapid technological shift occurred. The atlatl disappeared from the record and was replaced by the bow and arrow. The Yukon finds reveal an abrupt technological shift from the atlatl to the more efficient bow and arrow. The ice layers physically preserve this pivotal moment, with older, long dart shafts giving way to smaller arrows tipped with antler or copper. The exceptional preservation of these weapons offers a rare look into their detailed construction, revealing a sophisticated craftsmanship from intact feather fletching to replaceable points that shows a deep understanding of design and trade. This technological change from the atlatl to the bow likely represented a broader shift in hunting strategies and culture. As this evolutionary timeline became clearer, however, one artifact was found that did not fit, presenting a new puzzle about the hunter's methods. By the late 2010s, decades of research in the Yukon had created what seemed to be a clear timeline of hunting technology, showing a logical shift from atlatl darts to the bow and arrow. However, one discovery challenged this straightforward story. Near Carcross, a fully intact atlatl dart was found in nearly perfect condition. While its preservation was remarkable, what truly puzzled researchers was a sticky orange coating found smeared along its shaft. Initial analysis suggested the coating was a common resin, but tests by the Canadian Conservation Institute revealed a surprising result. It was castorium, a beaver secretion. This was the first time the substance had ever been found on an ancient weapon, which raised the question of why it was used. Researchers proposed several theories. It might have been a practical additive to make adhesives stronger, a scent mask to hide from prey, or a lure to attract animals. Another possibility is that it had a symbolic or ritual purpose, perhaps acting as a charm for the hunt. The problem was that the evidence for the castorium's purpose was not clear. While its placement near the bindings suggested it was an adhesive, 
cohesive, the amount used seemed excessive for that role alone. This ambiguity hinted that there might be a symbolic or spiritual aspect to the tool, not just a practical one. Modern science helped clarify the situation. Using chemical analysis and machine learning, researchers confirmed the substance was deliberately applied. This finding intensified the debate, suggesting a ritualized approach to hunting that blended technology with belief. The Custorium dart remains one of the most mysterious artifacts from the Yukon ice patches. It is still being studied, and its purpose is highly debated. With no definitive answers, the mystery continues. What is certain is that this single object changed how researchers understood the frozen tools. It served as a clear reminder that ancient technology, no matter how simple it seems, can have complex and hidden layers of human intention. To better understand the Castorium, researchers used modern analytical tools, feeding its chemical profile into a machine learning system. The AI analysis concluded that the substance was not a standard adhesive, but a deliberately altered mixture, meaning it had been applied intentionally. This finding intensified the debate. While some experts believed it was simply a complex recipe for a practical adhesive, others saw it as evidence of ritual behavior. For the local First Nations, this idea was not new. It confirmed their oral traditions, which have always taught that hunting is a spiritual practice. From their perspective, the AI's conclusion was a long overdue validation of their traditional knowledge. The Yukon finds have shown that ancient technology was layered with complex beliefs, but this unique archive is disappearing. Unlike stable archaeological sites, the ice patches are melting rapidly. Each summer, a new layer of history is exposed and immediately begins to decay, creating an urgent need for archaeologists and First Nation partners to recover what they can. This situation serves as a powerful reminder that our connection to the past is perishable. The artifacts from the ice are both a gift, offering a rare glimpse into human ingenuity, and a warning. They highlight the urgent need to protect these vanishing records before this window into our ancient world closes forever. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below.